In the last video, we learned what is pip and how to install pip in Python. And at the end, we got a warning. Uh, the scripts pip pip3 are installed in uh, this path, which is not on path. So to solve this error, uh, we have used this uh, command. Let me explain you this command in this video. Uh, echo command is used to print the message in the console. Uh, here they are exporting the path to bash rc file. To solve that error, they are exporting this path to bash rc file. Uh, here you can see that uh, the path is home mark. Uh, but our home path is home mrp. So I have to replace this. can run this command let's, let's copy this yeah, now let's try the same command again This time you can see that we didn't got this error, but now we are getting different error. Defaulting to user installation because normal site package is not writable. It is because that we are using pip command with a, without sudo. Uh, let's have a look at this uh, post. Why we use hyphen hyphen user in pip? Yeah, this is the post I was talking about. Uh, the error is coming because we didn't use hyphen hyphen user in that command. Let's run this same command now with iPhone iPhone user. Here you can see that pip default to installing Python package into a system directory. This required root access. That's why it was uh, showing that error. Now let's run the same command with iPhone iPhone user. Yeah, now you can see that it is not showing this message. Now let's move to the next point. Uh, saving the installed package library details in the requirement.txt file. This is very simple in Python. Just run pip please command. Here you can see that it is showing a lot of packages, but I haven't installed all these packages. I just installed few of the packages like uh, numpy, pandas, request and all so to filter out this you have to run pip freeze hyphen hyphen user here you can see that only showing a few packages this is what we want and you need to store this to file let's run this command pip freeze iPhone iPhone user. This command will uh, show the detail in your terminal. But we want to store this in the file. So let's use this symbol. This symbol represents to extract the content uh, which shows when you run this command to a file called uh, requirements.txt. Now you can see that now here requirement.txt file should be created here you can see created and it is having the same content uh, to install this package in your system it is uh, very easy with 
install hyphen or recommends dot use you can see that it's showing the comments already satisfied because we have all those packages already in our system now let's move to the next point say you want to install a specific package to a specific python version then you can use this command python 3.9 hyphen m hyphen m represent module uh, then pip install the package name. now let's uninstall one of the package pip uninstall faker sorry faker is not installed let's choose another package uh, let's take uh, pandas pip uninstall pandas press y now run pip please hyphen hyphen user i can see that pandas is missing over there because we uninstalled that package to install you can use this uh, pip install hyphen r hyphen r represent read recommends or txt this will read the file line by line and try to install the package let's run here you can see that uh, for pandas it is saying that using cache to pandas and recommend already satisfied now let's check whether pandas is available or not if please I can open this one. now here you can see that you got pandas this is how we use pip in python and these are all the alternatives for pip you can use uh, pip env conda that's it thanks for watching the video please subscribe